Hello. I don't know if you can see me. Hello. Um, I am going to take what's left of my Type Bond 2, which I didn't think I'd use as much as I have, but it's a fast setting glue. Um, usually I use the Type Bond 3, which is I don't know if you call it waterproof, but it's super water resistant. Pretty waterproof. Um, there's a chip here, and I'm trying to push in enough glue to where I can flood this joint. And it's important because this is a pocket hole. It's an angled hole that was drilled in here to hold the top. And so there's no tenon or anything. There's no piece of wood that comes up and fits into the tabletop. So if this chip doesn't get glued back together, then the tabletop isn't going to sit. It's gonna flop around and I don't wanna hand off a piece of furniture to somebody where it's kinda of like a limp fishtail bouncing around. It's gonna take a while to feed down, but this is the plan, just trying to pump in enough glue I was too lazy to use one of my syringes. Um, and so, I'm gonna let that seep in. And I don't think it'll take a whole lot. There really wasn't that much material here, but just getting it aligned. I th they think they drove the screw too far, or I had this in a storage where it was humid and when it got wet, um, meaning it was probably sitting outside and got rained on, the wood might have expanded and broken itself. So anyways, um, I just take blocks with packing tape so that they don't stick. And then I've gotta go this way and I'm gonna smush everything together, hopefully it'll line up. Not looking bad there. So put that in there. And on the other side, I have the edge of the table that, that hangs out. And so I've got this block so that the clamp doesn't hit the edge of the, the end table here. So that's more or less okay. And then I have corner block. And I'm going to see if this stuff is in the right place. And then this is a one of a nicer, it's a little fancier clamp. It's a Bessie. But it has extra deep jaws. This isn't going to be your big box cheapo clamp. Um, and I'm going to pick this up and give you the tour. Um, there's the outside of the clamp on the outside. So there's a spacer. So it's clearing this part right here. You can see the profile goes beyond. So I'm trying to kind of protect that edge somewhat. And then um, you can see... This is what I'm talking about. This is a lot deeper reach here. So these these clamps, because they have to be so strong, because the these want to stay straight, or you want those to stay straight, you're paying a premium for these. So these will be two or three times what a regular clamp will cost. But in the event that you need to kind of have it stretch into whatever you're making, um, then it's totally worth the money. So... Um, by doing that and then using some clamps, some blocks to spread out the clamping force, you are, um, I am in this case, um, put enough pressure to where one clamp should be able to hold everything in alignment um, and then take care of that. And then there's a bunch of other stuff to think about, but... Um, things like uh, goopy finish but that's a uh, that's a video for another day that would probably be like an indoor organic stripping class and it's small enough I might be able to do it here in the bathroom or something like that that I'm remodeling um, but otherwise uh, I'm just gonna let this sit for 20 minutes hope that it cures and until then 
Good night and good luck.